everybody it's Tony from Stamps by Me and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to demonstrate a card using the classic lamination robin. It comes in three parts, solid portion, shadow and outline. And I'm going to create a quick card today to show you how to get an effective shaded robin. So this is a solid portion on my block. You're also going to need um, some other various bits. I've got my stamp cleaning cloth to help me clean my stamps. These are available on the website. I also have my Raspberry and my Brown Generation inks and um, my Back to Black for my outline. You will also need a spray bottle with a little bit of water in to get the watercolour effect when you come to spray the stamp. And I've also got a piece of white cardstock ready to create the image. So first of all, I am going to ink up the brown, sorry, the solid portion of the stamp in brown. And to get the watercolour look, I am going to spray it with some water. Now I do apologise for the lighting on this video. It doesn't show the true colours, but I will put a sample card on at the end to show you what you can achieve. So I stamp this one out, and as you can see, it's very difficult to see the full colour of brown as my lighting's not very good, but please bear with me. If you can get the technique out of this video, that's brilliant. So stamped it out. As you can see, it's wet. That's the solid portion. And then the second part in your stamp set is the shaded area. And this is the shaded area across his back and his red breast. So the key to this stamp set is when you layer the stamps, the more water that add, you add, the less definitive lines you have. So if you spray it once, you're going to probably end up with some solid lines. If that happens, all you have to do is take a wet paintbrush and blend it out. If you spray it a lot, you will get a quite a strong bleed. And on this one, I'm going to spray it about four or, four, four or five times. And what will happen is the red and the brown will bleed to the, together, giving you a more watercolored finish. And what will happen is when you take your stamp away from the white cardstock, you will probably end up with a splodge of colour. Don't worry, this is easily sorted. Just um, sorry, this is easily sorted. Just blast it off with your heat tool, and it quickly disappears. So spray it about five times. Popped it on top. Don't worry if it's not exact. It's a watercolour image. They are never exact. And as you can see, when I place the stamp down, the colour runs, and that is this, that is what you are trying to achieve. If you're not achieving this sort of look, you haven't sprayed it with enough water. So because this image is wet or damp, you would never be able to get your black outline onto this card. It doesn't matter if you've got a brand new ink pad, because the card is holding moisture, it won't stamp correctly. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to blast off the colour with a heat gun. And what I suggest you do is to prevent any warping on the card, get your heat gun hot for about 30 seconds, keep it off the page until it's relatively hot and then take it to your card. This prevents any warping on the card and it's easier then to secure your card onto your actual card base. So as you can see as it's getting hot the colour is actually drying up and all the splodges of water are disappearing. It gives you a super cool image. Now, obviously the colour's not showing very well on this video, but if you really did want to intensify his red breast, just get your paintbrush, pick up some of the ink from the Generations tablet and ink it in yourself. The world is your oyster with it, really. So this is a black outline. And I've just inked it up, making sure I've got even coverage. And then all I'm going to do is place it over the top of the image, line it up best I can, again, don't, please don't worry if you don't line it up correctly, again, you do get a bit of a bleed with these, that's the whole point of the watercolour lamination technique. When I'm happy I've done even presses all over the block, remove it and out pops a gorgeous little chunky robin. So in your stamp set as well, you also get various greetings in there. You get from our house to yours, seasons, tweetings, greetings, winter wishes, and so on and so forth. But for this card, I'm going to use seasons, tweetings. Quick tip for you, 
pop it face down on a surface and then pick it up with your clear block then you know that it's going to be straight on your block if you just place it straight onto your block the chances are it will be wonky so place it onto a surface and pick it up with your block so I've just inked it up in black again I'm going to place it to the left hand side of the robin and this completely finishes the card So before I go ahead and mat and layer it onto a card, what I'd like to do is add a little bit of detail and a little bit of depth. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I've got a pencil line on here which I drew in. And I'm just following the pencil line around and I'm not going to cut off the robin's tail. I'd like to keep the robin's tail for the purpose of the card. He would look a little bit odd without his tail. So I'm just going to follow him all the way around and then I'm going to go straight up the card. So it looks like the robin's actually been placed on the edge of the cardstock. So here's my card blank. I've just matte and laid some black cardstock on. Normally I would just glue this straight down, but because I've used a heat tool and the cardstock has got a slight warp in it, if you try and use wet glue, it takes forever to glue down. So the purpose of, for the purpose of this demo, I am going to use some double-sided adhesive tape. Ensuring all the sides are covered so it does stick down securely. We have various videos and sample cards over on my gallery on my website. So if you are lacking inspiration or would like some ideas to use this stamp set, pop over to the website. The link is below. You can see everything you need to see on there. There are There is also a customer gallery as well. And this is brilliant. You get to see what other people have actually achieved with their stamps that they have bought. It's not just about myself. And there are some beautiful cards on there. So hop over and have a look might be something on there that you actually like. So once I've removed all the double sided adhesive I'm ready to stick the card down making sure my card is the right way up. We don't want an upside down card. And there we have it. Quick simple card. If you wanted to go that extra mile, you could put some splatters on there, but it's entirely up to you. So there you go, finished card. I hope you like it, and I hope you've got some inspiration. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.